Hi and welcome to this video where I'm gonna show you three ways to get an image of the planet Saturn. First I will try to take a single exposure shot. Then I will try to take a screenshot from the video clip we're watching right now. And last I will try to stack the video frames from the video clip in auto stack it to see what we can get. Okay, so after I did my one single shot of the planet Jupiter, I decided to give it a try with the planet Saturn also. Everything is filmed from my balcony in the middle of the city and I only use the camera, the Nikon P1000. So let's start with the single exposure. I used manual mode, manual focus. Um, maximum zoom, both digital and optical. I used ISO 100, the 60s of a second and F8. The camera were placed on a tripod and to avoid shakings when I take the images I used the remote control. So after I took some images I chose the sharpest one I could find and in my computer and I started editing it in the free program GIMP. So I will just uh, very shortly with some screenshots show you what I did. I start by cutting it to 69. I uh, zoomed in a bit. I marked the image that I want to change. I started with changing the exposure a little. I change the levels, then I played a little with the shadows and highlights, then I change the levels again a little, then change the brightness and contrast a bit. After that I did a last uh, change of shadows and highlights and here I felt I cannot do much more so I decided to mark the surroundings and uh, play with the levels to see if I could get some stars to shine through only get a little few uh, dots and here is my final result from the single exposure of the planet Saturn. But now let's see what we can get if we take only a screenshot from a video. Not bad for a screenshot. I decided to crop it from 4k resolution to full HD. I then changed the color and contrast and everything just like I did with the single shot image. And here is the final result from the screenshot version. So let's compare them side by side. The single exposure versus the screenshot from a video. Well I think the screenshot is a winner here. But let's see what we can get if we stack the frames from a video clip in the program Auto Stack It. From this video that is 44 seconds long and where I only used the optical zoom of the Nikon P1000, I stacked 30% of the best frames and I was able to get this one. Pretty good I must say for just being a camera. I tried to do two more stackings from two other video clips where I zoomed in a little more and here are these results. I realized that the result was, uh, wasn't any better when I used the digital zoom on the camera, at least not for me. So instead of continue with this I chose, the, I chose the one that I had from the beginning with only the optical zoom and I instead tried to improve that one in GIMP and also I tried in Registax and here are my results from that one. 